Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Welcome back to the range. What you're looking at is the target that came with my CZ Varmint MTR chambered in 22 long rifle. Now, don't pay much attention to it. It's got gun oil and everything. Uh, it's all stained up. It's a mess. It's got some tears in it. But this actually came with the gun. This is the group they shot at the factory. You can see there's five shots there. I'm going to try to see if I can duplicate or beat this group today. You guys have seen my testing with the CZ457, or you've probably seen it. But all that was done at 50 yards. This was done at 50 meters. So a little farther than 50 yards, I moved my target back accordingly. For you guys wondering, that comes to roughly 54.7 yards. So that's where I've got my target setting for today's uh, video. Don't normally shoot at meters here, so had to measure that out by hand. The group size itself measured 10 millimeters. Again, there's another look at it. Now, in my world, 10 millimeters is going to come to just a little bit less than 394 thousandths of an inch to give you an idea of the metric equivalent there. So, what we can see is this is a really good group shot to be shot at 50 meters. 394 thousandths of an inch. I'll have to be on my A game here to duplicate that. Hopefully I can beat it. Now it says they used RWS 40 grain ammunition. RWS makes some really good, it's made in Germany, it's some really high quality 22 ammunition, but they make several different grades of it. It doesn't tell which, you know, exactly which type they used here. But I'm gonna be shooting one of these targets that my friend George over at Target Suite sent me over. You can see I've got a real fine aim point here, a little small X. And I'm, I'm gonna repeat this, I've said this before, but uh, some people still don't understand. This is my point of aim. It's not necessarily where I want my point of impact to be when I'm shooting for groups. I don't wanna shoot my X out and lose my point of aim halfway through the group. So I'll have my scope adjusted to set It'll be set somewhere where I'm shooting off of, just off of this X, or at least that's my intentions. So if you wonder why I'm not shooting the bullseye, that's why I, I'm doing that on purpose. I don't want to lose my point of aim. The ammo that I'm going to be shooting is RWS R50. They're premium ammunition. This is really good stuff. I've shot it in the past, but become really hard to find. I've only got this thanks to a Patreon team member who sent me a link when he found some and I was able to buy a little bit of it. Uh, so thanks Ron for sending that link over. So I've got everything set up. Let's go ahead and see if I can beat this target. All right. So I've already fired one group. I started with a clean bore, so I wanted to go ahead and, and dirty the bore up with some of that bullet lube that's on these RWS bullets. I'm gonna fire my second group. So here we go. This one counts.
All right. That looks pretty good through the scope. Walk down and take a look at it. Do this. Some of you guys may wonder why it is I like to walk to the target with you guys with the camera. That's so you can get a, a good perspective of my range down here and how far away the target is. With different cameras, different lenses can make a, cam a uh, target look closer than it actually is or farther away than it actually is so I like to take that walk with you guys just for that added perspective I also want to show you my 50 yard mark falls right here where I've got that steel plate marking it so as you can see we've got to go another nearly five yards that's the downrange camera Go ahead and stop it. But as you can see, we have to go an extra uh, nearly five yards to get to 50 meters. So this was the first group I shot. That was from a cold dry bore. I had put the CZ rifle away and oiled the bore. So when I got it out this morning, I went ahead and swabbed the bore out, got all the oil out of it. But that means there was also no bullet lube in the bore. And that's where that first shot hit. After that, they settled in right here. The other four looked pretty good. So on the second five shot group, we've got a really nice group here for 50 meters. That looks to my eye like it might beat that factory group, that factory target that was supplied with the rifle. Only one way to know for sure is to get it up here and measure it. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so that group measures from center to center of the farthest two shots apart at eight millimeters. So we did indeed beat the target that was supplied with the rifle from the factory. Now these are supposed to be printed on a scale of one to one. I know that doesn't always work out, but we'll just take a look here and you can see that eight millimeters definitely doesn't reach center to center of the farthest two shots apart. I get that this camera probably doesn't focus real well on that, but also eight millimeters comes to 315 thousandths of an inch for those of you guys that speak my language when it comes to numbers. So there you go. I was able to do it on the second group. I wish that I had had some of this RWS R50 when I did my ammo shoot off with the CZ. But you guys know how ammo is right now, uh, especially then when I was doing that test. I couldn't find any of this at that time. I do wonder how it would have performed shooting five five shot groups and taking that average. I may end up, I may revisit that one day and and see how that how this ammo ranks among the others that I tried. But that's all I got for now. I appreciate you guys for watching and hanging out with me here at the range. I'll talk with you guys again soon. Always remember that freedom is the greater good.